So if you actually want to see a psychologist, how would you go about it? There's a lot of different ways and it's not very difficult to do. So as members of the Law Society, you'd be able to access Law Care through Assure programs and it's simply a matter of phoning Assure and they will either give you the names of practitioners in your area or and, and will give you those details and you can phone that, those people or they will sometimes even make the appointment for you. And so they will ring around to find someone who's available at the times that suit you. Your GP, colleagues, your families or friends may actually be able to recommend a psychologist and that's a really good way to go because if it's someone that you trust and they're saying, I found this person very helpful, mm -hmm. then you'll be going with that open mind and, and looking forward to that assistance. If no one can recommend anybody, then the Australian Psychological Society has a site on their website for find a psychologist and you can put in your details, where you live, the kind of issues that you're looking for some help mm -hmm. with and that will then give you the name of practitioners. Just as in the legal profession, a lot of psychologists have specialised areas of practice and so it's often a really good idea to phone the psychologist and have a chat with them if you can or to talk to their practice manager or their receptionist and find out what are the kind of issues or areas that that person works in to make sure that they are the right person for you. And it's, it's far better to have that in mind and to know that the person that you're seeing has some understanding and some experience in helping people with the concerns that you have as well. And what would a typical visit to a psychologist involve? Generally the first session is much more along the lines of explaining how psychology works, getting to know you. You'll probably be asked to do a questionnaire such as a, um, a DAS21 which is just a, a questionnaire that assesses how you've been functioning in the past week and that helps the psychologist to separate out if there's any symptoms that you might not be aware of yourself there. Mm -hmm. You'll be um, given some information on the privacy and confidentiality of the nature and the fact that when you're speaking with a psychologist they don't report the content of the conversation to anybody and that's mm -hmm. pretty important to mm. know. They'll generally explain to you the kind of practice that they have, so the type of therapies that they use and they'll ask you what kind of things have been effective for you in the past. What is, what's been working for you previously that may not be working as well now. You can also ask the psychologist any questions that you have at that point as well and that's a good way to be able to, to find out whether or not they will understand, you, understand what you're going through. You'll get an idea of the fees and around about how many sessions approximately you might need to see them for. Although that can be quite variable as often things will crop up during the, the period mm. of therapy or some people may actually um, cotton on to things quite quickly and make changes very, very quickly. After that, you, move, you might have time in that first session to move a little bit into skills building, but it really depends on how long that getting to know you, getting to know your situation, and for the psychologist to get a full understanding of what's going on for you, how you're functioning, what the pressures are, um, can, that can take a while depending on the person that you're sitting with. And what happens if you don't feel comfortable with the psychologist that you've gone to see or they don't understand your your work uh, environment or the legal, the legal work environment? Psychologists are, are people and psychological counselling is very much a relationship in which it's very, very important to feel comfortable with the person that you're seeing. Mm. And research consistently shows that it's the relationship, quite often more than the techniques that are used, that is what contributes to someone um, overcoming any mental health difficulties and then improving their resilience. So if you're not quite sure about that, then it, it's perfectly fine to find another psychologist. And you can either talk with the person that you're seeing and say, look, I'm not quite sure that this is, this is working for me, I'm not feeling that the path that we're going down or the strategies that you're suggesting are actually suitable to me and they may be able to suggest someone for you. Alternatively, you could go and ring a different practice and, and ask to speak to, to somebody there mm. and see what they're like. It's very important to make sure that you do feel comfortable with that person and that they have an understanding of that. If you're working in a law firm, they may be able to recommend some psychologists or some practitioners that, that have worked with their staff 
people who go in and do presentations on behalf of legal firms would be yes. a good place. And I know that places like Assure Programs and with Law Care make sure that the psychologists that they send legal practitioners to are actually well versed in that field.